right, turning our attention now back to the weather. You're looking live over King Street in downtown Boone and where a cold front from the mountains could make conditions a bit dicey for us down here in the Queen City. Yeah, also see a lot of rain and the mm. thunder and lightning. Uh, that is in Boone right now as uh, some severe storms uh, are coming right in right now. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Tara Lane for the very latest on what we can see up in the mountains and also here in the Carolinas. Yeah, eventually by the time it moves down into the Charlotte metro, it may be a little weaker, mm. likely not as many storms by then, but we could still, uh, you may be woken up to some rumbles of thunder as we go through the night or some heavy rain outside. As we take another live look along part of I 85, just outside of our Queen City News studios there in West Charlotte. It's nice and dry for now, but yeah, you saw the wet roads down below along King Street and Boone, the lightning overhead, and the cold front obviously getting closer here. It's on the move, pushing in from the west, and uh, timing out just about what we were looking at earlier during the 4, 5, and 6 o'clock news. And we were seeing this line approaching the higher elevations by 9 30, 10 o'clock. And sure enough, here it is. So as we zoom into some of those areas, look at the frequent lightning there uh, from the western part. Watauga County over the state line, some heavy rain as well. Nothing severe at the moment, but some of these storms off to the south and toward the Asheville area have produced some a pretty gusty wind. We're talking about 60, 70 mile an hour wind gusts and even the possibility of some hail as well. Uh, Jefferson seeing some of that moderate to heavy at times rain. Looks like that warning was just canceled for the Asheville area and just to the west of there, but still has the possibility that uh, the potential of producing more severe weather over the next few hours here. Duncan's Creek and Bellwood. So now we're heading down to the foothills parts of Cleveland County seeing some heavier rain and just a few isolated lighter showers over parts of Anson and Richmond County. All of this after what was such a warm and again mostly dry Wednesday out there felt pretty nice. If you love the warm weather 81 degrees first time since early March that we've jumped up to the 80s 10 degrees above average for this time of the year and here tonight and this is what we're talking about here that fuel in the atmosphere we're still on the warm side. We've got low 60s in the mountains upper 60s to lower 70s and most other areas and dew points have been yeah we're feeling that humidity too up into the 60s as well so helping to fuel more of these storms as that cold front moves in so all of that being said the rain and storm chance will remain on the higher side as we go through the night early tomorrow morning even close to lunchtime we'll likely still have some leftover showers out there again we're seeing the spotty activity in most of our neighborhoods right now a lot of us still dry but that uh, strong to severe thunderstorm potential exists now of course we've been talking about that in the mountains and all the way up through 6 a.m. we still could see nothing widespread not a, a huge outbreak of severe weather but it's still possible that one or two of those storms could try and pack a punch with the risk of uh, damaging wind, maybe some hail. Can't rule out that brief tornado, but that threat is lowering as we go through time. And as I said, spotty showers can linger through about midday tomorrow. 63 for a low in the morning, not quite as warm, 73 for that high tomorrow afternoon. Let's check it out on Futurecast, and you can see how the activity kind of rolls across here quickly and, yeah, taking it all the way out through Friday afternoon. We'll eventually see a transition over to maybe some snow with some colder air working in behind this front. And as I said, this map has changed from earlier today to that lower risk of damaging wind gusts and hail and that lower risk of brief tornado. Earlier, we were looking at the dark green and the yellow, which indicates that higher risk of severe weather plastered over portions of especially the Western Carolinas. But you can see how that's been pushed off to the south where the majority of that stormy weather has been today, south and west, and continues tonight. So that's good news for us. And as we check out future cast, you, again, you can see how we get some of the colder air moving in by the end of the day on Friday and going into early Saturday. We could see some of that accumulating snow developing in the mountains as temperatures take a tumble again for the weekend. Look at that. By Sunday morning, we are down to near freezing for temperatures. And look at the 20s showing up in the mountains once again with lingering rain or scattered snow showers going into Saturday after the rain pushes out going into Friday. Again, the mountains will see the best chance of rain late on Friday and then going into Saturday. After this round of showers and storms tonight and early tomorrow morning, uh, most of the rest of the week is looking dry breezy on Friday. The weekend looking good, just cooler.